Uncut Line Productions is here, keeping our eyes on the community, especially in the DMV, gorgeous Prince George's, as many constituents and comrades and leaders are fighting for social change. Police accountability for misconduct and misbehaviors. Uncut Live Productions is standing in the gap, following up, engaging, and informing and enlightening the community, keeping you involved, bringing the spotlight on the issues that are concerning the people. It's time to stand up and stand tall. Stand strong. Fight for justice. Because one man was killed by the police. I want us to understand that. We're here to try to bring an end to this scourge of racist police murder of black people, Hispanic people, and also insofar as the racism is directed against us and it with all people, it carries over the white people as well. So we're trying to end that. And in this effort today, we're aiming for three particular goals. And we won't reach them in one day, but we're establishing them. The first goal is that all criminal cops in Prince George's County, every last one, there are 28 on Miss Brave Boy's Brady list. There were two who killed Archie Elliott. Every criminal cop in Prince George's County, that is, every cop who committed a crime in Prince George's County gets prosecuted and convicted. That's number one. Number two, number two, we want the Maryland General Assembly to go much further than what it did last April when it passed House Bill 670, six, Senate Bill 100, I mean, Senate Bill 600, and Senate Bill 178. That was just the beginning. That's what they said. To us, it was an inadequate effort of patronizing us. That was just not enough. It said, basically, those three pieces of legislation said, basically, we're going to give a little soft tap on police who murder black people and Hispanics. But we want it totally abolished. We want it wiped out. We want cops scared of killing black people, Hispanic people, poor people, homeless people. We want cops scared of when they break in a home with a warrant. I'm talking about with a legal warrant. They've got justification. The crime is going on. We want them to come in and say, Madam, would you please sit down? Madam, this is my badge. This is the warrant. I have a copy for you. Please sit down. I will not hurt you. We're going to search your home. A judge gave us permission to do that. We apologize, ma'am. We apologize. And if there's any problem, here's my card. You call the judge and tell them that we did wrong. We're going to search it politely. We're not going to harm you. And we're looking for a particular thing. In other words, we want cops prosecuted, number one. And then we want the Maryland General Assembly to pass our six-point plan, legislative plan. In other words, that little tap on the wrist they did in April, that's not enough. We got a six-point plan that really addresses the scourge of police murder. That's right. And then the last thing is we have the horrible experience here in Prince George's County and also throughout the state of dealing with elected officials and appointed officials who oppose the effort of stopping legalized lynching by police officers. You know, it blows our mind, you know. We see this lovely lady, State's Attorney Aisha Brave Boy, very articulate and intelligent. She basically picks and chooses when she's going to fight this. And when she chooses not to fight it, she's standing for racist murder of black folk and Hispanics by the police. Y'all continue to follow Uncut Live Productions on Facebook as well as YouTube. Stay involved, stay engaged. We can all do something to make a change. Doesn't always mean you have to run for public office. The main thing is as long as you have a heart to do something, change is gonna happen. 
change happens when we get involved and we get engaged. If you want to be a guest on the Uncut Line Productions show, please contact 443-866-7249. We all we got, we all we need, each one reach one, each one help one.